Hi, I'm Kirsty Budge and this is my sister Amy. We are farmers on Shetland. My take one piece of advice would be to put yourself out there and find the confidence within yourself. I think we've all got confidence but we just need to find it and release that confidence. We, you need to put yourself out there and not be afraid of rejection. A lot of us are but the only bad thing you can get is them saying no and you're still in the same position. So just keep putting yourself out there and find that confidence. My piece of advice for anyone wanting to start something new, whether it's a business or start a campaign, is to listen to advice. There's so much advice coming from your community, from people around you, um, to people who have done similar things, but as well as in the business terms, there is so much free business advice out there. There are so many courses you can do, so much training. Just go out there, find what's available, and just learn from it. One of the best things that we've been involved in is the Monitor Farm project. That's a project that we've been involved in for the last three years. And it's brought together the whole farming community in Shetland onto our farm six times a year. And just bringing all that knowledge and skills together has meant that we've learnt so much from other people. We've learnt um, about things that we could maybe try and just advise advice and ideas has come to us and me and Amy have sat down and thought oh will we try this, won't we try this, some things we have tried on the farm and it's worked or then sometimes we've tried new things and it's not worked and we've realised that actually the, be the way that we were doing it was actually the best way for our farm. So you have to go out there and take these pieces of advice and think about the situation you're in and is it going to work in your situation or not. Sometimes you might need to try it and it'll work or it won't work but just you know, as Amy was saying, just be confident and go out and try those new things. I decided to set up the Young Farmers in Shetland because when I was away at college, I was a member of Geary Young Farmers and they, it was just amazing. I had the best time. We met a lot of new folk. We got on to many different farms and we also saw, we also did sports and different activities, but it was just amazing to see all the rural young folk coming together and having something to do on Shetland, then it's quite an isolated place and I could see that there was a lot of young folk in agriculture by going through the mart and there was a lot of young folk there. But we've also, Young Farmers has opened up to everybody, so I just thought it was important to get together and it's proved a success because we currently have about 30 members registered so it's, that is really nice to see and to show that there was a need for it. We also got involved with Open Farm Sunday this year and that was a really good success as well. I personally wanted to do it just to open our farm up, get the public onto the farm and see where their food comes from and hopefully then convince them why the public needs to support us farmers in buying local and buying the good quality meat we produce in Scotland. We would really encourage people to get involved in projects like the Rural Youth Project because it's bringing folk together that don't have these opportunities. Um, in Shetland we've seen that happening as well with the young farmers. Just by bringing folk together then we're combating the isolation that can happen in rural places and mental health is such an important topic just now that's being discussed and surrounding yourself with other like-minded people, um, motivational people, people who like to do the same things as you, then that can only be good for your mental health.